Even though nobody commented about my embarrassing, humiliating, incredible, fantastic um, performance of Miley Cyrus Flowers in the intro of last video, yes, it's still in my head and I was gonna sing it right now, so you owe me one. Anyway, I'm back with my furry pet today and we are going to be showing you the cool people of New York are wearing and today we're actually not going into FIT which is my school of preference we're going to be going into Parsons because I don't know why the Parsons kids intimidate me a bit more they don't have an open campus so it's a little bit hard to get them I don't know they're kind of more intimidating so I really challenged myself to go in there and interview them and show you guys their outfits so I really hope you value my effort because I may seem like a very extroverted person but it's just a question of like faking it until you make it I was definitely like shy this day but anyways, I hope you really like the video, but before we jump into it, thank you Enroot for sponsoring this video. As I told you in my previous one, Enroot is one of my go-to places when I want to shop jewelry and when I want to find some pieces that really have a lot of personality to it. I'm not a person that gets frustrated easily, but when I buy something, especially like a necklace or a ring, and then two weeks later it starts to turn blue or pink or whatever, it really gets on my nerves, so that's another reason why I love Unroot. Their pieces last long. I love the idea of being able to pass clothing pieces or jewelry to my daughter or son one day. So I especially love their sterling silver and gold plated pieces like this 18 karat gold plated red heart necklace that is just so minimal and beautiful. For those who are in a budget, this is perfect because Unroot talks directly to their manufacturer which helps them have super affordable prices while still maintaining the quality of the products. Their manufacturer is audited every year by a third-party supervising agency to ensure a sound work and environment for the employees, fair pay to workers, as well as a full compliance with environmental guidelines. If you want to get your hands on some cool rings, waist chains, necklaces, earrings, use my code MAYA20OFF to get 20% off your order. Use the link down below because it does help my relationship with the brand if you click it. And yeah, bonus if one of your favorite content creators has a collection there because a lot of YouTubers that I love have collabed with Unroot and have their own pieces there. Anyways, let's just go see the outfits and let me know down below in the comments if you noticed any style changes from FIT, which is where I usually film, to Parsons. My name is Bala. I'm doing communication design at Parsons. Um, so New Balance sneakers, I got them like a couple years ago, I don't remember. My pants are from Aritzia, I think. The sweater West is from A-Land, a uh, shop in Brooklyn. This, what's inside, is from Isolis or whatever I can't pronounce. This is House of Sunny. I got it at Depop from a random person. <laughs> My name is Brenna Gettner and I'm a fashion design major. Cool, so show us through what you're wearing. Yeah, so I'm wearing this. It's uh, this uh, vintage Juicy Couture jacket that my ex-boyfriend's grandma gave me. Okay. I thrifted this button up and uh, I thrifted both these shirts and I just layered them. It's a Twinkie shirt actually underneath. And um, I layered this vintage skirt that I got from Goodwill literally down the street on top of these iGirl um, tights. And I put some socks and my Melissa boots. Yeah. I just layered a bunch of stuff that I thought looked cool together. I definitely think like statement jackets are going to be a really big thing this winter. And I really hope to see like micro aesthetics die off this winter. Yeah, I love to see some more individuality and like self-expression. My name is Camille Wyatt and I'm a fashion design major. I'm in first year, so it's like not really, but okay, you know, cool. yeah. This skirt I made myself, so I guess Camille Wyatt, you know. Um, this skirt, my, my grandma actually made this. And then this shirt is thrifted, and then thank you. And then these boots are from Steve Madden. So you know, people take and take from Black culture, and they popularize it, and then they kind of throw it away. So I don't want to act like you know trends aren't trendy anymore. Okay. But personally, I think people make things work no matter what's in style yeah. or not. You know. That's true. So I don't really, I don't know. I feel like my opinion isn't, you know, <laughs> it doesn't really. Matter. What about like in your personal style? Is there anything you like to just start rocking? Mm. Or like, super cool? I feel like scarves and just like using scarves as like elements in their pieces like other than on your head yeah, like I feel yeah. like I use like a lot of scarves for like tops and skirts so like you know maybe doing that even though like the weather isn't really you know. Hi I'm Karina um, I'm a strategic design major 
Um, so I am wearing, my shirt is Brandy, my jeans are vintage DKNY, love them. <laughs> um, Converse I thrifted and this jacket is my favorite jacket. I bought it on the side of the street for like $15. Um, and I love it. Hi, I'm Lexi. I'm also oh, wait, I'm also strategic design and management. And my outfit, okay, my jacket and sweater are both thrifted from, I'm not sure, from like somewhere at home. Then my shirt is like my favorite little cat shirt from Brandy Melville. My skirt is also from thrifted from like the Goodwill bins. My leg warmers are from Brandy, and then my shoes are Golden Goose, but I like DIY'd them with some beads. So that's why I like wore beads today on my sweater. I'm Jordan, my major is journalism and design. Uh, I'm Sean, my major is strategic design and management. So these are Naked Wolf. They're kind of uh, dusty now because I've worn them quite a bit. Um, this is from a thrift store, plaid pants. All of my outfit is from the thrift store, actually. From, from thrifting in Virginia, so like my hometown. So this sweater, thrift store, turtleneck, thrift store. And this necklace I've had since I was like nine. Um, the hoodie was thrifted. Um, all of my rings I got for free. Uh, my pants I got for free from my roommate. They're G-Star raw pants. And then uh, my shoes are uh, Rick Owens, and they were a gift from my girlfriend. Um, yeah. Personally, I've tried the Y2K vibe. Didn't fit me, so I'm not a big fan of it, but I think that somebody who can pull it off can pull it off really, really well. I sort of concur with that. I don't think there's anything that I really hate at the moment. Are like, there any things that you would like people to start experimenting with more or wearing more that you like a lot? 50 style fashion. Like 50s, 60s, I think that that's super cool. I really like like the 50s dresses and like the capri pants and like I like that ballet flats are coming back. I think those are really cool. I feel like somebody can style them really, really well, especially if like they have like a high waisted like capri and then like a button up, but it's like sleeveless. I think that that's super cool. I agree. I do like the like kind of ballerina flat thing going on um, and big boots. Uh, my name is Arlo and I'm a fine arts major. I'm a third year and um, what am I wearing right now is I've got some Dolph LaFleur Giannos on. Um, these pants I got secondhand. Um, it's a Happy 99 shirt, a brand I love. And then this is um, a Brain Dead, this jacket, another brand I love. Oh, the hat, this is um, Big Bud Press. They make uh, a lot of corduroy stuff. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm Alicia. Um, I go to the new school for under the liberal arts programs, but it's self-design, so I'm mostly studying film, culture, media, and literature. Um, my name is August. I also go to the new school, Eugene Lang, and I'm currently undecided, but I'm thinking of studying literary studies. Uh, okay, so um, I'm wearing this, like, I think it's fake fur coat. I actually got it from Reminiscence, which is right across the street. And then I got this sort of corset likes and then this is a skirt i thrifted at a place nearby my house and then i'm wearing my dog mary jane's um so i got this skirt from beacon's closet not here in brooklyn um and i got this sweater also from reminiscence so thrifted i got this jacket from uniqlo um these gloves are from like an etsy shop little cat paws the headband um i can't really remember i got it at, like a museum so but yeah also the shoes are new balance but yeah all right guys so this was the video i really hope you liked it i had a really positive experience last video when i asked you to comment the rat emoji if you saw the video until the end so if you did watch until the end oh my god i love this emoji i'm always using it and it's so random comment the orangutango emoji hope you guys liked the video follow me on instagram follow my zine on instagram my my zine spotify playlist because i do have a playlist where i link all the musics i use in my videos because a lot of you guys seem to like them and yeah i think that's all leave me some video suggestions down below if you think I should do any video in specific, have some really cool videos coming up that I think you guys will really like. So yeah, that's everything for today. I'll see you guys next week.